Hello, may God in the heavens protect your life. There is a prayer among the Psalms that, when uttered with great faith, has the power to bring prosperity and bless one's financial life. This prayer is Psalm 23, David's prayer. Right now, I am going to share this important prayer with you. Whenever you wish, you can enter this channel and listen to this prayer. It would be very beneficial if, for a few days, every night before sleeping, you come here and listen to it. This will greatly bless your life, bringing prosperity, abundance, and plenty to your days. Do you believe in this? I want to say that we are already a big family here on YouTube, a family of prayer and spiritual guidance. Allow me to pray for your life now. I would also like you to leave your like by pressing the thumbs up button. When you do that, you're letting YouTube know that the content you're receiving is valuable and can be shared with others. And if you're not subscribed yet, click on subscribe below to become part of this big family and I can be a prophet of God in your life. So leave your like, press the thumbs up button and subscribe. Prepare your heart now to pray with me the prayer that will bring prosperity and blessing to your financial life. Now, before we begin this prayer, a very important message. We need you. Our channel and our community need your help to continue. If you follow and enjoy our content on the Spiritual Sunrise channel, consider becoming a channel member with a monthly contribution. In addition to supporting the channel, you'll receive exclusive benefits. The amount is small, but the help is enormous. If you can't become a member, please consider helping with a single, simple donation of any amount. Check out all the links in the description and thank you in advance. Let's continue with the prayer. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Repeat with me, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Receive this prayer in your heart and believe that prosperity and financial blessings will be poured upon you. The Lord is your shepherd, and you shall lack nothing. He takes care of you in every moment. Trust in his providence and grace, for he is faithful to fulfill his promises. May this prayer bring you peace, hope, and trust in God. May his presence always be with you, guiding your steps and opening doors of opportunity. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for His. Name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Our Lord and Father, under the blessing of Psalm 23, under the blessing of the prayer for prosperity, Father, I want to ask you at this moment for the blessing, the anointing of prosperity, the anointing of abundance, the blessing of abundance, the blessing, O God, of green pastures, the blessing of the overflowing cup. Hallelujah. Begin now to touch the life of this person. May the hands of this person who receives this prayer now be blessed, my God. May every evil being that has worked to hinder this person's path, to prevent their prosperity so that this person's life does not progress, at this moment may your power cause all binding spirits to fall to the ground, every spirit of restriction to retreat. May the blessing of the Lord, my God, be present. I declare, my God, that this person from 
Now on we'll live in a time of abundance. We'll live in a time of prosperity. Wherever this person places their hands, even what was supposed to go wrong will turn out right because the blessing of Psalm 23, my God takes charge of this life now. The blessing of Psalm 23 touches the life of this person. I bless you with all the blessings of Psalm 23. Say, I believe that all the blessings of Psalm 23 are upon my life right now. Pray this way with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Take possession. You can be sure the Bible says the prayer of the righteous is powerful, and you can be sure that this prayer will bless your life from today onwards. Send this prayer to your family, to your friends, to all the people you want to bless. Send it through WhatsApp. Everyone who receives. This prayer will be blessed and will have a prosperous life. They will thank you for sending them this prayer. Tell me that you listen to the prayer of Psalm 23, and I will talk to you. Also, leave your prayer requests, and I will pray for your life. May God bless you, and from now on, a time of prosperity comes into your life. Amen, 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 amen. May God in heaven guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms in the Bible, the Word of God. This is a psalm that has the power to give you blessings of protection and break many bonds in your life. Also, it can bring a protective blessing to your home and family. Today we are going to pray Psalm 91, and after praying this psalm with you, rest assured that God will bless you. Greatly. I would like you to pray this psalm with me, either by repeating the words or in your head, so that you can have all the promises contained in this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. So please feel free to leave your prayer requests in this particular Psalm 91 prayer. I would like to ask you to add the name of a loved one in the comments because, as I mentioned before, it is a powerful psalm of victory over the family and our home. Leave the names of your family members in the comments because I will pray and present all of them to God for His glory. I would like you to hit the like button at the beginning because every time you hit the like button, you are letting YouTube know that what you are seeing and hearing is edifying for you so it can be shared with others. That's why hitting the like button is so important. And if you haven't subscribed, yet please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube. Now prepare your heart because after this prayer in Psalm 91, you will see God in action and I have some guidance to give you. You can listen to this prayer and repeat it throughout the week. It will do great good if, for seven days, you could listen to this prayer from Psalm 91. Now I am going to pray with you this powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of bonds, and family protection. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart you will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked if you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because He loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue Him, I will protect Him, for He acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. 
Yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory today, tomorrow, and forever. And you say, Amen, Amen. Take possession, you can be sure. The Bible says the prayer of the righteous is powerful, and you can be sure that this prayer will bless your life from today onwards. Send this prayer to your family, to your friends, to all the people you want to bless. Send it through WhatsApp. Everyone who receives this prayer will be blessed and will have a prosperous life. They will thank you for sending them this prayer. Tell me that you listen to the prayer of Psalm 91 and I will talk to you. Also, leave your prayer requests and I will pray for your life. Okay, may God bless you. And from now on a time of prosperity comes into your life. Amen, 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 amen. May God in heaven guard your life. Hello, may God in the heavens protect your life. There is a prayer among the Psalms that, when uttered with great faith, has the power to bring prosperity and bless one's financial life. This prayer is Psalm 23, David's prayer. Right now, I am going to share this important prayer with you. Whenever you wish to enter this channel and listen to this prayer, it would be very beneficial if, for a few days every night before sleeping, you come here and listen to it. This will greatly bless your life, bringing prosperity, abundance, and plenty to your days. Do you believe in this? But before I start praying, I want to say that we are already a big family here on YouTube, a family of prayer and spiritual guidance. Allow me to pray for your life now. I would also like you to leave your like by pressing the thumbs up button. When you do that, you're letting. YouTube know that the content you're receiving is valuable and can be shared with others. And if you're not subscribed yet, click on subscribe below to become part of this big family and I can be a prophet of God in your life. So leave your like, press the thumbs up button, and subscribe. Prepare your heart now to pray with me the prayer that will bring prosperity and blessing to your financial life. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Repeat with me, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Receive this prayer in your heart and believe that prosperity and financial blessings will be poured upon you. The Lord is your shepherd, and you shall lack nothing. He takes care of you in every moment. Trust in his providence and grace, for he is faithful to fulfill his promises. May this prayer bring you peace, hope, and trust in God. May his presence always be with you, guiding your steps and opening doors of opportunity. Amen. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his. Name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Our Lord and Father, under the blessing of Psalm 23, under the blessing of the prayer for prosperity, Father, I want to ask you at this moment for the blessing, the anointing of prosperity, the anointing of abundance, the blessing of abundance, the blessing of abundance, the blessing, my God, of green pastures, the, the blessing of the uh, overflowing cup. Hallelujah. Begin now to touch the life of this person. May the hands of this person who receives this prayer now be blessed, my God. May every evil being that has worked to hinder this person's path, 
to prevent their prosperity so that this person's life does not progress at this moment may your power cause all binding spirits to fall to the ground every spirit of restriction to retreat may the blessing of the lord my god be present i declare my god that this person from now on will live in a time of abundance will live in a time of prosperity wherever this person places your hands even what was supposed to go wrong will turn out right because the blessing of psalm 23 my god takes charge of this life now the blessing of Psalm 23 touches the life of this person. I bless you with all the blessings of Psalm 23. Say, I believe that all the blessings of Psalm 23 are upon my life right now. Pray this way with me, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory today, tomorrow, and forever. And you say, Amen, Amen. Take possession. You can be sure the Bible says the prayer of the righteous is powerful, and you can be sure that this prayer will bless your life from today onwards. Send this prayer to your family, to your friends, to all the people you want to bless. Send it through WhatsApp. Everyone who receives this prayer will be blessed and will have a prosperous life. They will thank you for sending them this. Prayer. Tell me that you listen to the prayer of Psalm 91 and I will talk to you. Also, leave your prayer requests and I will pray for your life. Okay, may God bless you and from now on a time of prosperity comes into your life. Amen. 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 May God in heaven guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms in the Bible, the Word of God. This is a psalm that has the power to give you blessings of protection and break many bonds in your life. Also, it can bring a protective blessing to your home and family. Today, we are going to pray Psalm 91, and after praying this psalm with you, rest assured that God will bless you greatly. I would like you to pray this psalm with me, either by repeating the words or in your head, so that you can have all the promises contained in this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. So please feel free to leave your prayer requests in this particular Psalm 91 prayer. I would like to ask you to add the name of a loved one in the comments because as I mentioned before, it is a powerful Psalm of victory over the family and our home. Leave the names of your family members in the comments because I will pray and present all of them to God for His glory. I would like you to hit the like button at the beginning because every time you hit the like button, you are letting YouTube know that what you are seeing and hearing is edifying for you so it can be shared with others. That's why hitting the like button is so important. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube. Now prepare your heart because after this prayer in Psalm 91, you will see God in action and I have some guidance to give you. You can listen to this prayer and repeat it throughout the week. It will do great good if for seven days you could listen to this prayer from Psalm 91. Now I am going to pray with you this powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of bonds, and family protection. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near. Your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him.
with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Lord God and Father, under the blessing of Psalm 91, under the blessing of the prayer for prosperity, Father, I want to ask you at this moment for the blessing, the anointing of prosperity, the anointing of abundance, the blessing of abundance, the blessing, my God, of green pastures, blessings of the overflowing cup. Hallelujah. Begin now to touch the life of this person. May the hands of this person who receives this prayer now be blessed, my God. May every evil being that has worked to hinder this person's path, to prevent their prosperity, so that this person's life does not progress. At this moment, may your power cause all binding spirits to fall to the ground, every spirit of restriction to retreat. May the blessing of the Lord, my God, be present. I declare, my God, that this person from now on will live in a time of abundance, will live in a time of prosperity. Wherever this person places their hands, even what was supposed to go wrong will turn out right, because the blessing of Psalm 23, my God, takes charge of this life now. The blessing of Psalm 23 touches the life of this person. I bless you with all the blessings of Psalm 23. Say, I believe that all the blessings of Psalm 23 are upon my life right now. Pray this way with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Take possession. You can be sure. The Bible says, the prayer of the righteous is powerful. And you can be sure that this prayer will bless your life from today onwards. Send this prayer to your family, to your friends, to all the people you want to bless. Send it through WhatsApp. Everyone who receives. This prayer will be blessed and will have a prosperous life. They will thank you for sending them this prayer. Tell me that you listen to the prayer of Psalm 91 and I will talk to you. Also, leave your prayer requests and I will pray for your life. Okay, may God bless you. And from now on, a time of. Prosperity comes into your life. Amen. 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 May God in heaven guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms in the Bible, the Word of God. This is a psalm that has the power to give you blessings of protection and break many bonds in your life. Also, it can bring a protective blessing to your home and family. Today, we are going to pray Psalm 91 and after. Praying this psalm with you, rest assured that God will bless you greatly. I would like you to pray this psalm with me either by repeating the words or in your head, so that you can have all the promises contained in this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. So please, feel free to leave your prayer requests in this particular Psalm 91 prayer. I would like to ask you to add the name of a loved one in the comments. Because as I mentioned before, it is a powerful Psalm of victory over the family in our home. Leave the names of your family members in the comments because I will pray and present all of them to God for His glory. I would like you to hit the like button at the beginning, because every time you hit the like button, you are letting YouTube know that what you are seeing and hearing is edifying for you, so it can be shared with others. That's why hitting the like button is so important. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube. Now prepare your heart, because after this prayer in Psalm 91, you will see God in action and I have some guidance to give you, you can listen to this. Prayer and repeat it throughout the week. It will do great good if, for seven days, you could listen to this prayer from Psalm 91. Now, I am going to pray with you this powerful Psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of bonds, and family protection. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, but, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. 
If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Lord God and Father, under the blessing of Psalm 91, under the blessing of the prayer for prosperity, Father, I want to ask you at this moment for the blessing, the anointing of prosperity, the anointing of abundance, the blessing of abundance, the blessing, my God, of green pastures, per the blessing of the overflowing cup. Hallelujah. We'll pray Psalm 91, which is the most powerful prayer for deliverance and protection, breaking all spiritual bonds and attacks against your life. It serves as a shield for those facing spiritual tribulations, envy, the evil eye, or problems in their relationships. This prayer brings protection and liberation, especially for those dealing with health issues and other challenges. When you hear Psalms 23 and 91, expect victory, prosperity, open doors, honor, and a change in circumstances. You'll experience protection against evil and plagues in your life, home, and family. In the comments, share your first name and the name of the person you want to include in these prayers. Know that in God's plan, there are no coincidences. He orchestrates everything for a purpose. If you're listening to this prayer, it's because God has a purpose for you. He wants to bless you, open doors for you, provide victories, and especially bring protection through Psalm 91. Before we begin praying, know that if you're facing relationship issues, you can comment below with the name of your partner for specific prayers. If you're single and seeking God's blessings in your romantic life, share your photo and request prayer for your sentimental life. This channel is not about religion, it's about connecting with God. If you're not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button below and from today onwards, expect great blessings in your life. Prepare your heart as we pray Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. If possible, have a glass of water ready, as drinking it after these prayers will symbolize the blessings flowing into your life. Before we start praying, I encourage you to listen to this prayer for the next six days. Choose a moment of the day to listen as everything you do with God enhances your victory. The number seven signifies completion and victory in the Bible, so by listening for seven days, you'll amplify the blessings in your life. Receive this prayer now and pray with me, either by repeating the words aloud or silently in your heart. Let's pray Psalm 23. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer today, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your divine presence and guidance. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for the opportunity to come before your throne of grace with our petitions. As we meditate on Psalm 23, we are reminded of your unfailing love and care for us, your children. You are our shepherd and we are your flock. We acknowledge your sovereignty over our lives and surrender ourselves completely to your will. Lord, we pray for your provision and protection. Just as the psalmist declared, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want we ask that you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Provide for us, O Lord, in times of scarcity, and lead us to green pastures where we can find rest and nourishment for our souls. Father, we lift up those who are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, facing challenges, trials, and uncertainties. Be their guiding light, O Lord, and lead them safely through the darkness. Comfort them with your presence and reassure them of your abiding love. We pray for healing and restoration for those who are suffering from physical ailments, emotional wounds, or spiritual battles. You are the great physician, and nothing is impossible for you. Touch their bodies, minds, and spirits with your healing hand and grant them wholeness and peace. Lord, we intercede for those who are experiencing loss, grief, or loneliness. Wrap them in your loving arms, O God, and fill the voids in their hearts with your comfort and consolation. Let them know that you are near to the brokenhearted and that you will never leave them nor forsake them. We pray for wisdom and discernment for those who are facing important decisions or difficult circumstances. Guide them, O Holy Spirit, with your wisdom from above and grant them clarity of mind and purity of heart as they seek your will. Father, we lift up our families, friends, and loved ones before you, asking for your protection and blessings upon their lives. Guard them from harm and danger 
and surround them with your angels to watch over them day and night. Finally, Lord, we commit ourselves afresh into your hands, trusting in your goodness and mercy to follow us all the days of our lives. May we dwell in the house of the Lord forever, experiencing the fullness of your presence and the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before your presence today, we are reminded of the powerful promises found in Psalm 91. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and your steadfast love that surrounds us like a shield. We acknowledge you as our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. Father, we pray for your divine protection over our lives, families, and communities. Guard us, O Lord, from the snares of the enemy and from all harm and danger. Let your angels encamp around us to deliver us from every evil and to keep us. We pray for those who are facing spiritual battles and attacks from the enemy. Strengthen them, O God, with your mighty power and equip them with the whole armor of God, that they may stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Let your truth be their belt, your righteousness their breastplate, and your gospel of peace their shoes. Lord, we lift up those who are struggling with fear, anxiety, and uncertainty. Pour out your peace that surpasses all understanding upon them and help them to trust in your unfailing promises. May they find rest in your presence, knowing that you are with them. Father, we pray for healing and restoration for those who are sick, afflicted, or in pain. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, and we ask that you would touch them with your healing hand and bring wholeness to their bodies, minds, and spirits. We intercede for our nations and leaders, asking for your wisdom, guidance, and protection. Let your justice and righteousness prevail, and may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Lord, we commit our loved ones into your hands, knowing that you care for them even more than we do. Watch over them, O God, and keep them safe from all harm and danger. Surround them with your love and fill their hearts with your peace. Finally, Lord, we surrender ourselves afresh to your will and your ways. Help us to walk in obedience to your word and to trust in your providence in all things. May we dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Music. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer today, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your divine presence and guidance. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for the opportunity to come before your throne of grace with our petitions. As we meditate on Psalm 23, we are reminded of your unfailing love and care for us, your children. You are our shepherd and we are your flock. We acknowledge your sovereignty over our lives and surrender ourselves completely to your will. Lord, we pray for your provision and protection. Just as the psalmist declared, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, we ask that you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Provide for us, O Lord, in times of scarcity and lead us to green pastures where we can find rest and nourishment for our souls. Father, we lift up those who are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, facing challenges, trials, and uncertainties. Be their guiding light, O Lord, and lead them safely through the darkness. Comfort them with your presence and reassure them of your abiding love. We pray for healing and restoration for those who are suffering from physical ailments, emotional wounds, or spiritual battles. You are the great physician, and nothing is impossible for you. Touch their bodies, minds, and spirits with your healing hand and grant them wholeness and peace. Lord, we intercede for those who are experiencing loss, grief, or loneliness. Wrap them in your loving arms, O God, and fill the voids in their hearts with your comfort and consolation. Let them know that you are near to the brokenhearted and that you will never leave them nor forsake them. We pray for wisdom and discernment for those who are facing important decisions or difficult circumstances. Guide them, O Holy Spirit, with your wisdom from above and grant them clarity of mind and purity of heart as they seek your will. Father, we lift up our families, friends, and loved ones before you, asking for your protection and blessings upon their lives. Guard them from harm and danger and surround them with your angels to watch over them day and night. Finally, Lord, we commit ourselves afresh into your hands, trusting in your goodness and mercy to follow us all the days of our lives. May we dwell in the house of the Lord forever, experiencing the fullness of your presence and the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before your presence today, we are reminded of the powerful promises found in Psalm 91. 
Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and your steadfast love that surrounds us like a shield. We acknowledge you as our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. Father, we pray for your divine protection over our lives, families, and communities. Guard us, O Lord, from the snares of the enemy and from all harm and danger. Let your angels encamp around us to deliver us from every evil and to keep us. We pray for those who are facing spiritual battles and attacks from the enemy. Strengthen them, O God, with your mighty power and equip them with the whole armor of God, that they may stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Let your truth be their belt, your righteousness their breastplate, and your gospel of peace their shoes. Lord, we lift up those who are struggling with fear, anxiety, and uncertainty. Pour out your peace that surpasses all understanding upon them and help them to trust in your unfailing promises. May they find rest in your presence, knowing that you are with them. Father, we pray for healing and restoration for those who are sick, afflicted, or in pain. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, and we ask that you would touch them with your healing hand and bring wholeness to their bodies, minds, and spirits. We intercede for our nations and leaders, asking for your wisdom, guidance, and protection. Let your justice and righteousness prevail, and may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we commit our loved ones into your hands, knowing that you care for them even more than we do. Watch over them, O God, and keep them safe from all harm and danger. Surround them with your love and fill their hearts with your peace. Finally, Lord, we surrender ourselves afresh to your will and your ways. Help us to walk in obedience to your word and to trust in your providence in all things. May we dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.